Hey there tech enthusiast, welcome back to another video of Gizmo Rush. Today, I'm going to show you some settings that you need to change on your Samsung phone to enhance your user experience and make the most out of this device. In this video, I'll be using the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. You can also apply these settings on your other Samsung phones, so without any delay, let's get started. You may have experienced unintentional activation of your phone screen while it's inside your pocket. This happens when you have not enabled your Samsung phone's accidental touch protection feature. You can activate this setting on your Samsung phone while following these steps. Just open the settings and tap on display. Then scroll down and toggle on accidental touch protection feature. And from now on, your phone will not be activated while it's in your pocket or bag. Also, you can optimize the pop-up display while using other apps on your Samsung phone. To enable it, open your phone app. Tap on the three dots and select settings. Now scroll down to call display while using apps and select the mini pop-up option. Here you will see a keep calls and pop-up option. Just turn it on and it will not cover your phone's entire screen once you have picked up the call. Moreover, the phone app has a couple of more features that can help you to enhance your calling experience. For instance, you can enable the caller ID option so that your phone can mark spam calls and show you on the phone screen. Also, you can toggle on the Wi-Fi calling to prolong your Samsung phone's battery life. I've made an in-depth video covering the tips and tricks of the Samsung S23 FE. You can watch it by clicking on the i button. If you open your Samsung phone settings and tap on the lock screen and AOD, you will see the secure lock settings option. Tap on it and enter the current pin. Here, you can adjust the time to lock your phone once the screen turns off. Now go back to settings and toggle on the lock network and security. With this, your phone's mobile data and Wi-Fi will not be disabled unless you enter the security pin to unlock your Samsung phone. This feature will not disable your phone's network without a screen lock password, which is really helpful in locating your phone if you have lost it somewhere. Sometimes, entering your lock screen password and pressing the OK button to unlock your phone can be annoying. But don't worry, you can enjoy a seamless unlocking experience by disabling the OK button. Here's how you can unlock your phone without the OK button. First, go to the lock screen and tap on screen lock type. Then enter your lock screen password and choose the pin option. Enter your current pin again, but this time uncheck the confirm pin without tapping OK. Finally, tap continue to disable the OK confirmation. So, I've captured this photo with my S23 FE and I want to share it with my friends. So, I tap on the share icon and I can't find my friend's social media here. If you also have the same problem, then worry not. You can change the share manager settings to add preferred social media apps on it. To do that, swipe left the suggested apps and tap on the more option. Now, tap on the pencil icon, select the apps you want to add to your favorites and tap on done. Finally, go back to the photo and tap again on the share icon to see your favorite social media apps on it. You can speed up your phone's unlock time by deactivating the show unlock transition effect on your S23 FE biometric settings. Go to security and privacy, tap on biometrics and turn off the show unlock transition effect. This will help to reduce the screen unlock time on your phone. This setting can make your Samsung phone faster than before. All you need to do is reduce the animation from the settings. Just go to Accessibility by opening the phone settings, then tap on Visibility Enhancements aka Vision Enhancements for newer Samsung phones. And there, you will find Reduce Animations. Toggle on the option to speed up your phone's performance. You may have some apps on your Samsung phone that you rarely use but are essential, like DigiLocker, which you only need in emergencies. Despite their importance, these apps can remain active in the background and affect your phone's overall performance. However, Samsung has a feature called Deep Sleeping Apps that disables selected apps when they're not in use, helping you to improve your phone's performance. You can use this feature by opening battery settings and selecting background usage limits. Now turn on the Put Unused Apps to Sleep option to automatically add unused apps in it. Next, tap on the Deep Sleeping Apps and select the plus icon to check the apps you want to include in your deep sleeping list. Finally, tap the Add button and your apps will not run in the background. After doing this, you will not receive any updates or notifications unless you open them. Do you know, you can increase your phone's performance by expanding the virtual RAM size of your Galaxy phone. This feature allows you to experience better performance while running multiple apps in the background. Just open the phone settings and tap on Device Gear to see the health status of your Galaxy phone. Select the Memory option to access RAM plus settings. Here, you can see the amount of virtual RAM being used and you can adjust it according to your preference. 
I am selecting the maximum virtual RAM capacity. Now all I need to do is tap the restart button and wait until the phone opens. Making these videos require a lot of effort and time. If you're finding this content helpful and enjoyable, please show your support by liking the video, subscribing to Gizmo Rush, and hitting the notification bell so you always get our video notification first. This is one of the first personal safety measures you should take after purchasing your Samsung phone. Emergency SOS can be set to 2 or more contacts, but the primary SOS must be set for the local authority's helpline number like 112 for my country, whereas the secondary contact should be a family member. You can set this setting on your phone using these steps. First, go to Settings and select Safety and Emergency. Then tap on Emergency SOS and toggle on Share Info with Emergency Contacts button. Now, you can activate the SOS on your Samsung phone by quickly pressing the power key button three times to send your current location and SOS message to your emergency contacts. Your safety on the road is paramount. To enhance your protection, you can activate a setting on your Samsung phone that detects when you're driving and minimizes distractions. This feature uses your phone's motion sensors and Bluetooth to determine when your vehicle is in motion. To activate this setting on your phone, simply navigate to the safety and emergency in your phone settings, tap on the silent notification while driving, and toggle the switch to turn it on. Doing so will reduce interruptions and keep your focus on the road. That's it for today's video. We have explored a variety of settings on the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE that can be used on most Samsung phones to enhance your user experience and optimize your device's performance. Whether it's protecting your screen from accidental touches, managing call displays while multitasking, securing your network settings, or ensuring your safety on the road, these tweaks can make a significant difference. Don't forget to share your thoughts and let me know which setting you found most useful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Gizmo Rush, and watch these videos to enhance your experience on a Samsung phone. Stay tuned for more tech videos.